going back to the mimic tier. Bonfire, but not a bonfire. Words and things. I have almost 10,000 again? I don't think I've been stocking up though. Nope. Nope. <laughs> My supplies have been wrung dry. I figure if I've, if I've sort of finished the area. Right, you can't mount yet. There we go. I might as well, I figured I might as well have teleported back and made sure all of my stuff was reset. Is he gonna be harder now? Probably, I mean, presumably, it's like a whole second version of him. It wasn't like super hard last time. I don't remember what weapon I fought him with. Did I have the blades yet? Or was I still using a sword? And for that matter, was I in the in that period where I only knew how to use one sword? One blade. Because that happened for a bit. I feel like I fought the spirit before I fought Godric. Breaking line of sight because they're trying to shoot me. Oh yeah, he's a glowy boy. I wonder if the, I wonder if the other one is too. Maybe we can just have a conversation this time, you know? Chat it out. A regal ancestral spirit. I'll show you regal. I can't use my, uh, this feels like a fight where it'd be useful to be on your horse. Oh, he, he, right, he crosses his own rivery thing. What? Oh, he like teleports away? Dude, are you, you okay? You don't seem okay, but you did almost kill my dogs immediately, so that's working for you. That's the second time that's hit, or missed at point clink range. Ow. <laughs> a bit of a late stab on that one. Ow. There I go again. There goes all my dogs, because they are too stupid for that attack. Bless their stupid little hearts. Oh god. That makes such weird noises. Oh, there's like wildlife here. Just kind of wandering around. Are they, are they dangerous to me? Or are they just kind of being a thing? Wow, you are significantly less durable than I remember you. One of us has grown faster than the other one in the meantime. Oh no! Oh no! He suck up all the animals. Very rude. Could you let me hit you ever? You're really good at jumping away right when I'm where right when I swing. Nope. Oh, I got him. <laughs> Weird. Um, do I have to run around and kill them all? I don't think I can. Is this you secretly having more health bars than normal, basically? Ah! That's different. That attack only works at melee range, in case we weren't clear. Can you stop that, actually? Hmm, he's leaving again. Oop, good, but he's here. What? 
Didn't know that was an attack. Gives me a charge. <laughs> yes! Ow! <laughs> Why does everyone in this universe do that? I can't tell if I'm making any progress with this fight because I don't know how much fucking health he ultimately gets via this healing. Ow. Shit. Ow. Stop. There we go. Just needed a big enough damage spike because he just heals Legend Feld. Remembrance of the Regal Ancestor. First try. That one was full of surprises. I can't believe <laughs> I was not ready for the fucking Sonic the Hedgehog moment. Why does so why does so many en enemies do that in this game? Did George write that? Like what the fuck? <laughs> I like that it's not just a one-off curiosity, like, why does that animal do that? It's like something built into the setting. It's just something up with rolling for some reason. It's just... <laughs> Alright, I'm ready to level again, so that's good. Also, I'm in damaged pain. Ow. I guess I'll check to see if the other one can also be awoken. No? That one's still dead. Nope, someone's got aggro. It won't let me look at the menu. Here's where the jellyfish are. I'm trying to remember if there's any other branching paths I'm forgetting? I don't think so. So I think I was supposed to see, I think the main thing was to see the jellyfish path up here. That's probably the way forward that probably leads to this structure. Oh, hello. If any of them are still aggroed on me, I'm very susceptible to being shot right now. Yeah, that might lead over there. Which might be my ultimate goal. Model next. I don't even have to check to know why there's a marking under his butt. Guys. Guys. Oh, crafting. There we go. Take the power of the namesake via re finger reader? Oh. Like when I do, like I would do with Elden, Elden, like greater signs? The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the finger reader. Alternatively, it can be used to gain a great bounty of runes. Ancestral spirits exist as a phenomenon beyond the purview of the air tree. Life sprouts from death as it does from birth, such as the way of the living. I feel like I found something else. Is it equipment? I might know where that is. Greatly raises robustness, immunity, and focus. Said to be a budding horn, the ancestral followers believed believed that the horns of a long-lived beast continue to bud like antlers over and over again until the beast one day becomes an ancestral spirit. Immunity, robustness, and focus. Yep, those are those three stats down there, so I can should be able to oop. Shit, shit, shit. Ah, fuck, fuck, fuck. Immunity is your resistance to various potions and rot. The higher the number, the lower your susceptibility, governed by your attributes as well as... Robustness is resistance to blood loss and frostbite. 
focus is sleep and bouts of madness. Vitality is your resistance to death. <laughs> Alright. Lower your susceptibility to instant death. Of course. Why not? I definitely shredded that boss a bit, but I don't know if it's because I'm just really... He's just kind of weak at this point by comparison. Hoop. Or if it's because I have so many stacked talismans to increase my damage, that's actually getting scary. All I know is that I, t I take a lot of damage whenever I get hit, but it's like in a... It's in a range that I'm like used to. It's like, oh yeah, it's just what happens in these games. You just get your health shredded, right? <laughs> Especially since I don't tend to wear heavy armor. My understanding from our podcast is that Andrew is like wearing heavy armor and has just, he's dual wielding two massive clubs and he just goes around and obliterates things constantly. Just immediately. Just every single enemy is just getting like one shot or two shot. Bosses melt like they're nothing and so on. Oh, I'm down here. He showed me a clip of him fighting Radon and him starting to hurt Radon versus him finishing killing Radon, it was like less than a minute, and he didn't take any hits during that time. It was like a non- like Radon was a non-event for him. So if you wanted the- if you wanted to see somebody going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Radon, because you're disappointed in me or whatever, then, uh, you can see his hilariously overpowered character just dismantle the, uh, boss in a few seconds. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's gonna satisfy what you're hoping for, but it exists. That might be too far in the other direction of, like, what the fuck? Or at least struggle a little bit. Got another level out of that. Godric's great rune. Oh, right. It's like the great runes can feel a little bit like they're whatever. Because there are ways of getting, like, some kind of bonuses when you use a rune arc, but I'm always hesitant to use the rune arcs. But doesn't turning in one of these give me a talisman slot or something? Like, that's a big deal. Or is it just this? The winged great horn, strength and dex and scales with them. A unique horn in which the power of ancestral spirits fiercely dwells. This large wing-shaped specimen is wielded as a weapon of spirit worship. In the ancestral spirit worshiping faith, are, these are considered envoys of wings made to reap the lives of beings which experience no sprouting. Stole Stifler, raise the Great Horn's wings to summon a... a soul-sapping miasma. Enemies in the affected area will temporarily suffer from re reduced defense. Ancestral Spirit Horn. Item cut from the horns of Regal Ancestral Spirit restore FP upon defeating enemies. A number of new growths bud from the ant-like horns of the Fallen King, each glowing with light. Thus does new life grow from death, and from death one obtains power. So that's like a trinket slot thing. That might be worth grabbing, I don't know how much FP, and it's not going to help on boss fights necessarily, but just when you're adventuring around it'd be handy to be getting FP back, because then you can just use more FP all the time.
70 int. So much. A scar, so scourge, great sword. Everything except faith. Reach out and touch faith. Hmm. And here you can get all their gear. Radon's spear. Imbued with Radon's gravitational power. Great arrows used by the great uh, by the general Radon during the festival of combat. These are in fact the many spears with which he has stabbed he was stabbed by the clean rot knights. A helm of the golden lion with flowing red hair worn by General Radon. Radon inherited the furious flaming hair of his father Radagon and is fond of its of its heroic implications. I was born a champion's cub. Now I am the lord of the battlefield's lion. Armor with the golden lion. The golden lion is said to symbolize Godfrey, the first Elden Lord, and his beast regent, Serosh. From his youngest years, Radon was naturally captivated by the lord of the battlefield. The golden lion is said to... It just says that more and more. Alright, and then there's Renala's set. A tall crown depicting the moon. Worn by Renala, queen of the full moon increases intelligence. Is there, an, is there a faith boss at some point? And is it going to be the last one? So it's use, gear is useless to me? When Renala, head of both the Academy of Raya Lucaria and the Carrion royal family, lost her husband Radagon, her heart went along with him. And then, those at the Academy realized that Renala was no champion after all. Hmm. She has less variations in the descriptions. Now go forth. Let the words of the fingers guide you. Did look at his other ones though? Oops. <sighs> Starcaller cry. Curved great sword of black steel wielded by General Don, a pair of weapons decorated. It's it's Oh, two, yeah, it's two, curved, it's two curved great swords, decorated with the lion mane motif. Radon earned considerable renown at the Star Scourge in his youth, and is said to that it was during this time he engraved the gravity crest upon these blades. Star Killer Cry, bring the two swords together and roar into the skies, pulling in enemies with a gravitational wave. Following up with an additional input will slam down with gravity-infused swords. Hmm. Flurry of arrows that pour on foes like rain. It's pretty hype how exciting the uh, effects are. Inevitably, in a given playthrough, you kind of get built towards particular uh, styles of gear, so a lot of it's not applicable to you, but it does help each playthrough be different, that there's such wildly different gear that has each one has a different like super attack and so on that you couldn't use otherwise. Did I pick up enough while I was out there? Oops. Well, I took you, my matter, it's like I took you for dead. I always take everyone for dead. I don't have faith in anyone for like five minutes. I, oh, I need one more. Dude, bro, help. Bud, please, please, please. <laughs> help. Do. Please? These are worth a lot. I mean, not that much. These are... These ones are both worth, worth less than a level to me now. Hmm, so it's worth less than Radagon or Radon, but it's not worth nothing. But I have to do Radagon first, right? Yeah, because we only got here because of the crater, right? Alright, so I guess the idea is that I can buy stuff with that guy's soul if I want to, but it was not a chance to get another slot like I hoped it was. That will only occur later. But now I got this whole place to check out. I'm sure it's safe.
not gonna lie, I felt like we had like an adventuring band that was all gonna work together. But uh, it's kind of fallen apart, isn't it? Our band of friends. Given the berserk influence, I'm worried about any band of friends that it's like, oh look at this pack of likable dudes. They even have that one unlikable douchebag, just like in Berserk. That goes along with all of the likable dudes. And I'm like, well, that's not great. <laughs> the only thing that's more dangerous than being a likable character in a Souls game is being a likable group of characters in, in Berserk. Is that a safe platform to jump onto? I wasn't sure if I was feeling it. And yeah, sure enough, our leader has gone silent, and the people within the group are turning on each other. Oh, that was not a backstab at all. What? You gotta warn me, you can do st Wow, that's a billion damage right there. What? You ever think you're about to get a backstab, and then you get... Fucking dismantled? Yeah. Well. Welcome to Nakron, apparently. Fuck boy. It's very funny to me that you can run while crouched. Look at me go. <laughs> Never gonna catch me. Oh, I see what this guy's up to. Some of those anime- some of those little cutscenes that are playing with those guys are so on point, I wonder if they're even authentic, or if they're, like, placed by the developer. Because they almost feel like tips sometimes. Like, how did you- how did the AI know to catch him at that exact moment? How did- how did it even choose to, like, curate that? There's a guy. This guy is scary. Is he just immune to backstabs or something? Or did I fuck it up? Yes, I think he's immune to backstabs and also does a billion damage. Unblockable! Haha! <laughs> oh god. It only works if I land it. Ow. Uh oh. Could you take more damage from attacks, please? As a personal favor. Ow. Okay, I feel like you're literally, like, attacking the moment I press the button. Like, you know. I feel unsafe here. <laughs> Unblockable. Ow. <laughs> I guess you could also just not block it. That's cool, too. He's doing the dra anime sword drag. That's not a smart thing to do in real life. Are you gonna have any momentum? Oh, that's not, I don't need you to, what? No, what, is this a boss fight? This is some hot, what? What, wait, what, what was the, what did I just see? Okay, this is some nonsense. Oh, come on. What the fuck? Ow, ow, I'm covered in fire, everything's pain. Dude. God, it's so wide. What? It's so wide and it tracks you? It's a bit much. <laughs> <laughs> what a way for that to fit, for that to fight that fight to end. Oh my god. After all of that, he just jumps off a cliff all on his own. Bye. Didn't expect a strong foe, yeah. That was, that was an actual nightmare. That was... 
Wow. I think sometimes they know the value of just not showing a freaking boss bar, and you're like, Oh! What did he do? And then the boss just starts- the enemy just starts pulling some nonsense that you're not ready for a normal enemy to do. Like the red wolves, or the one of those just is a boss, so... Uh, maybe he's a boss somewhere. We've had enough times where just a kind of dangerous enemy, like the ones in the rot area, that have the weird glowy scythe homing attacks. Like, one of those was a boss fight earlier in the game, in a cave. Are you also mean to backstabs, dickhead? Why? Why would they be mean to back- Oh! He's got a very velstat e stick. He got a bunch of horns. Alright, well the good news is if the guy- if the other guy does respawn, he's pretty avoidable because he patrols really slowly. I could just not go there. Whoa, what's that meter? That's the curse meter, isn't it? Well, he just barely clipped me, didn't he? This is very welcoming decor. Did you get it at freaking Spirit Halloween? All right, let's try that again, but good. Yeah. Oh, fuck, that came faster than I thought it would. What? I don't need more. Did I ask for more? I did not. I would remember. Ow, fuck, that has reach. It has reach and it like strikes surprisingly quick. Ow. Oh. He's on some bullshit again. He's got- he's doing the fucking anime drill from the anime drill show with the anime drills, you know the one. My bullshit will pierce the sky in heavens and ow. He just had one wing... He just- did he, did he just one wing angel? These guys are a lot. They're in, in excess. Like the band, the hit band, in excess. <laughs> Oh, that's really far down. Well, the good news is he dies in like, I don't know, four to six hits if I do the charge of the big attack. Bad news is uh, I die in two. Which is non-ideal. Can I get these guys to come out and die in advance? Because I don't really like stacking those fights. I did not like the reveal that there was more enemies coming. I'm assuming they came from this room over here. You again. Shield guys are annoying. I'm slightly stronger, so you actually do die now. As the prophecy foretold, I'm the prophecy. Given that he has the big flying attack, I do wonder what happens if I just put my back to that one wall. Will he just go jumping off the cliff? Scarab! 
Scarab. Oh. Behold stars. Is that my Instagram filter? Right. <laughs> is, is, is Instagram even still around? Or, I know Vine's gone. I'm trying to remember which 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 social medias that I missed out on are gone now. Whole oh, thirteen. That's a way bigger number than the other one. I know Instagram's still around. That was a new spell. Uh, are spells a category? In these tabs? Yes. I was making, wasn't sure if I'd have to go back to my bonfire to check it. There it is. Alleviates death blight buildup? What? One of the incantations of the Golden Order Fundamentalist, used by hunters of those who live in death, alleviates death blight buildup. The noble gold mask lamented what had become of the hunters, how easy it is for learning and learnedness to be reduced to the ravings of fanatics. All the good and the great wanted in their foolishness was an absolute evil to contend with. Does such a, no a notion exist in the fundamentals of order? I got that got heady. I can't summon wolves. What if I want to? What about my needs? All right, so I think I'm gonna throw a fireball at him, and then just start hitting him, and see how that works out. <laughs> Ow! Please get hit by it. <laughs> That's gonna be really sad if it just completely missed him. Well. There I go, missing him. Ow. Less effective than I hoped. Ow. Basically just better off stabbing him. God damn it, he's really hard. When do I get to hit you, dick? I swear to god, man, he's, he's a lot. <laughs> oh boy. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Should have saw that coming. <laughs> right, he doesn't swoop. He stab. The other guy swoops by, which is why he died, but that guy just stabs directly into the ground. Dude, I don't I don't know when to hit him. It feels like his his like he's not exactly attacking super fast, but he's kind of attacking continuously, and his weapon is so massive. That I'm not sure when there's a clearing to really get a, a, a good hit in. It feels kind of undoable. So I don't know, man. And my, my, ma my magic's not exactly blowing mines. I do so much more damage just by doing a right trigger, or a left trigger, a weapon art or whatever. They were called weapon arts before. I forget if they're still called that here. Yeah, you let's not let you use your shield. Ow. 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 Not even a second hit, damn it. I let myself believe. Here comes the bullshit. Here comes the bullshit. No, I'm almost there. Yay! That went really well. 
Somber smithing stone six. That might be it. I don't remember. I can never remember. I'm so sorry. That's a five. That's definitely that one. You, you, you know what? Fuck it. I'll take the victory. It's at least one of the victories. It might be both victories. I don't remember. I don't write it down. That seems like an annoying thing to keep notes for. I'd have to change them constantly. And by constantly, I mean like it's been hours and hours and I still haven't upgraded my weapon, so who knows. But if those were the upgrades I needed for both, that'd be pretty fucking cool. I feel pretty hype about my victory right about now. <gasps> It's both of the things I needed at the same time! Oh my god! <laughs> I don't get to upgrade this weapon very much. So its base damage is going up by 12, and its bonus damage is going up by 18, so I'm getting 30 damage? Okay. And this, uh, its scaling is going up by 3. <gasps> I have enough of the 6s to do the next tier! Now I need 4 more again, but... Uh, scaling probably went up by three again. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't check the second time. That's a 16 and that's a six. I just became a stronger boy. That's the good shit. This thing's worth 10k? Damn. So I have 14,500. 14, Is that enough? I need 16,000, so we're almost there to, br to bridge the gap. Well, that, that was a payoff. Oops. That was a hell of a payoff to get both of the things I was looking for at the same time for both my weapons and the exact quantities I needed them in. I will super take that. Damn. That's more rewarding than whatever the fuck he dropped. What did he even drop? Right, well, he, did he drop one of these those things I just got? I think one of them dropped from him and, and then the other thing dropped off the ground. But one of them gave me a new weapon or something. Oh, I forgot to give this to someone. Oh, I know it. it right, it automatically gets added to my inventory. Sacred Order Pot. Aren't we sorted by, yeah, Acquisition Order? Shouldn't there be like an item? I got like a new shield or something, didn't I? Isn't it this? Crucible Horn Shield. This should be like a recent item. These ones not sort. Oh, uh, you have to sort. You have to individually sort each category. Shit. That's a that's a bit much. Great Shield of Red Tinged Gold carried by Crucible Knights features a great horn. An ancient holiness dwells within. The Crucible Horn skewers foes when performing shield bashes. It's an attack bash. Hmm. You have to individually set each menu to do that. I've got some mixed feeling about, feelings about that idea. Hmm. Oh, they don't come back. Okay. I don't love that. I, t I do still just wish that there was a dedicated menu that said, "Hey, here's all the items that you've been you've got recently, in order." Because having to having the ability to sort them by acquisition order doesn't help as much if I have to go through every single tab and check them all individually, and I'm not entirely sure what I picked up, so I'm just kind of looking for something that looks new. But also, you apparently have to also open up an individual sub menu to sort it chronologically for every individual tab. It's like, that's really annoying. Unless you're just going to leave all of them in that state all the time. But like, obviously their categories are also useful. Definitely feels like it'd be just be nice to have a system where you could 
like when the item shows up as like you got this item on the bottom of the screen like right like right now if there was a button you could press to look at it and then you could just like reasonably just like kind of play the game without clearing that notification for a bit if you're currently fighting or whatever and then you could just like let it sit and then check out what it is afterwards Wow, y'all just all came out to play okay Done with you. Thank you. That was enough of that. Green. Oh, that's narrow. I thought it was like a, a glowing cricket or something. Smithing stone fours. You're going back again. I need more of them sixes, pal. All right, I get or fives. My my pata needs a seven. Ah, uh, look carefully. Yeah, that's the place. We're just slowly approaching this place for so long. That sure looks like a boss chamber right there. This place just goes. Wind armor set? Inner order. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Is that his name or part of it? D was his name. Darius, Dari. Well, have fun, bud. Oh, that's a risky message. Guess he doesn't have much more to say. But I'm guessing he knew who D was, because I just gave him his gear. No joy ahead. Uh, well that's a boss chamber and a half, ain't it? Can I use... I can use wolves, but not mount. Okay. A gargoyle? Wow, it's been a while, pal. I was wondering when you were going to show up. Like when this game was going to have a gargoyle. Ow. He just swabbed me out of the sky. Whoop. Ow. Whoop. I don't... It feels weird how high my angle is during this fight. Oh, that was a really long one. What? <laughs> well, that was a bit unfair. <laughs> How am I supposed to know that's what that attack's gonna be? I'm like, oh, he's gonna do a spinny attack. Good thing I'm in his legs where I'm safe, like with, like with Sif. Then there was apparently just an AoE where everything dies, even vaguely near him. Oh, there's a gate now. Oh, might as well use what you got. Um... Well, you didn't do that last time, did you? Ow. Out, out, out. He got very flaily. Nope, nope, nope. My guys. 
They've got organs on the outside problems. Oh boy. Ow. Ah! He's got a lot of moves. No! No, they're doing this? No! I'm having trouble with this guy. He's so much harder than the Belfry Gargoyles. No! No! Okay. Mm, we're gonna struggle today is what we're doing. Oh. oh no! He was already putting up a fight. What, how do you even fight two of that guy at the same time? And the other one has a different moveset, he's got Twin Blade. Goody. Ow. It's really hard to judge distances <laughs> when the, 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 cam the camera points that high up. Uh, the camera's gonna fight me on this one again. Dude, this fight... I didn't even hit him. Hmm, it's moments like this where I really want to, like, store my souls so I don't have to grab them every fucking fight. Damn it. <sighs> Why not? I would like to ignore them. I can buy some rune arcs, at least. All right. Really backwards the logic there, didn't I? <laughs> the whole problem is that I have to get them from the boss fight every single time. Though, of course, I don't have them on me. Ah, uh, damn it. Now I need to go get, get back to the checkpoint again, too. Dude. Okay, well, I know... Yeah, I, I, my brain just did all the wrong reactions there. I just went the wrong everywhere for the wrong reasons. Time to run back. Well, I'm definitely saving the wolves. <laughs> they were a useful distraction. I definitely got more hits in while they survived for a bit. But, uh... I'm gonna want them as a, as a distraction... Uh... The moment there's two of them, just to try to get one of them down in time. But, uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm beating this boss fight this episode. I think it's going to be a bit. <laughs> We're just going to put some more attempts in, but I'm not. I don't think this is going down in the next 10 minutes. Just saying. Are you insane? Oh, God damn it. Fuck me. Just taking every possible hit, and then not landing any on my own. God damn it. I, it's hard to tell whether or not I'm in range. This kind of angle is really bad for that. God damn it. What? 
No, oh, wow, I pressed it a long time ago. Ugh. Come on! Uh. I hate finding openings and then just not having them work. It gets frustrate. Is that giant hanging globe room where I fought Red Dog? But yeah, this is not just a status effect. You take a ton of damage instantly from this. I was like, I can tank a status effect maybe for a little bit, if it lets me get some openings. God damn it. That was a good start, though. He's half dead and I'm only healing for the first time. Nope. That's bad. Why can't I? Oh shit. No, 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 no. God damn it. Fuck you. I need a moment, dick. God damn it. Two of them at once. God damn it. Shit. No! No, I can't fight you both at the same time. What the fuck? Dude. How? How? This has to be a summon boss fight, right? Like, this has to be a co-op boss fight. This is absurd. This is not like the Bell Gargoyles, where you reasonably fight them at the same time. They have, like, anime-ass, ridiculous movesets, and they can just both attack you at the same time? What? How am I supposed to tell- how am I supposed to dodge both of their attacks at the same time? I can barely fight one of them. Dude, this sucks. What? There's no way. Ah, you can't outrun it. Mm. Mm, mm, this is absurd. No, I don't think so. I think, I don't know. <laughs> I think this is one of those fights that's not designed for single player. I don't think that's the idea of this one. That's absurd. There's no way at the same time. I can barely tell what I'm looking at with one of them. Whatever. Where would the signs show up? D. Is that there the whole time? That's not a cosplayer, right? That's that's D. But isn't he supposed to be dead? Oh, the guy's gone. Are you impersonating D? Did you know D? I mean, we thought, I mean, we probably knew D because he knew his name, but I mean, like, are they, like, related?
Where would the summoning sign show up, though, for players? Because they show up around, like, a summoning statue, right? But where'd they put it? Is it not here? Hmm... I'm just, I'm just gonna push forward. We're near the end of an episode. Dude, my souls! Where are they? Space? Ah, fuck. I hate... I hate trying to get souls while dodging in a boss! Because you can't be looking at the boss! It would be so frustrating. Well, hope he's durable. Oh. About to find out real fast, based on his resistance to that attack. Ah, fuck. God, God damn it. He's already half dead. It's not looking great. He's even harder to hit when he's chasing another another enemy. God damn. No. Hmm. What kind of Oh, you can't summon wolves and people, right? Fuck. I just took a bunch of damage trying to get into a place where I could summon them. <laughs> My camera. But if I can't, if, the, if, if but I have to do. I have to walk on, or I can't fucking see the enemy. Ugh. It's absurd. Man. I wish I could. I wish I could help. Can I? This isn't going to heal him, though. No. It's probably not even the right one for healing allies. Fuck. Dude. Both of them? What? Oh, I'm getting hit by everything no matter what. Fuck. I... This is evil. I want to run away and use my homeward bone, but I actually don't know what my homeward bone in this game even is. <laughs> I've never been using it. Wait, did we did we do that little damage or did he heal? I don't know. Hmm. All right. Well, I'll have to see next episode if I can find where to summon players. <laughs> Because, uh, that one's not going to do it. Oh, man. He's even harder to hit when he's chasing somebody else around. I, like, I couldn't fucking hit him. I don't... Mm, maybe I'll go somewhere else, even? I don't know what, what I'm going to do. I'll figure it out. Mm.